okay? The darts is my favorite, and I'm not, I don't usually finish from the top, all right? I love that three-quarter grip, all right? Three-quarter Nelson, where you're underneath, forearm on the back of the head, okay? So, I can build it the ground and sprawl it out, all right? Whatever we do to decide to get here, I'm off at an angle, all right? I'm getting myself perpendicular to dip my shoulder, and I'm using those forearms to control his head, right? I'm not even deep enough for a choke right now anyway, so I'm not gonna worry about it. But what I'm doing is I'm squeezing my elbows together. Now, if you have a strong enough grip, you can actually finish a choke there. It ends up almost being a baseball choke. All right. I do not have that strong grip. Rotate, see, see, one, two, three. Turn it down. So, I get my elbows together. I'm putting pressure on his head, and now I'm gonna lift my right elbow as I drive, move my hips into him. And I keep turning them, squeezing those elbows together. So I get my grip, and I turn them to the ground. Okay. This is why I love the darts, because now I'm in a position where I'm already, I'm, I'm back on top. I can use this position to get him back to the ground, rather than him being a turtle, where if he's a better wrestler than me, which most people are, he's more likely to end up on top of me, and I lost everything I gained. Okay. Just up the head. Dive in. Bam. Switch. Okay. And I turn him to the ground. Now I want to stay in front of him. I don't want to end up up here. Okay? I want to move with him so that I'm back in front. I'm keeping my knee in in case I don't want to end up in half guard. Okay? I have his arm already across his neck. That's ideal. Okay? If his arm ends up in an underhook position, that's okay. I can still finish with the underhook. But ideally I want his arm across his neck. Okay? Now same thing we did before. I'm just going to open that hand. If I'm deep enough, great. If I'm not deep enough, I'm going to plant my locking hand on the ground. So now he can't extend his neck. And I grab my wrist. Okay, now Billy can try and extend his neck all he wants. And I've got a post to stop it. Cool? Mm -hmm. And now I can start dipping my right shoulder even deeper. And start walking up my own arm. Walk the hand out. Until I get to my, my bicep and my tricep. Elbows together. I like to drop to my knees. There's a number of different theories on how to finish the darts. My favorite one is get into a nice little ball here. Okay, his arms in my chest. I've got I've already found his carotid with my wrist. And now I just pick my right elbow up. I don't need to be sprawling into him. I don't want to be driving into him. If I'm directly in front, and my goal again is to be perpendicular to him, right? <coughs> get a, body, a T out of our bodies. His defense is to run away from me. So sometimes once I get to that position, I'll actually climb into half guard. I'll get here and I'll hook his leg to make sure he can't run away. Or I'll just step up with the leg and make him think, oh look, the leg, I can go to half guard. Look, go to half guard. Yep, and now I got it. That's where I want to be. My hips are back, I lift that elbow, and that wrist ball going right into the side of his neck. Cool? Let's we'll start in front head. Get that three quarter grip, turn him to the ground. Slide, wipe. Cool? Give it a shot. One, two, three.